All right, so I was at Cedar Point this morning. Now here at Waldemere in Erie, Pennsylvania. They have a few coasters here. They got five, two spinning coasters and two wooden coasters and a kitty coaster. So less than three hours, less than three and a half hours after riding Gatekeeper. Got a ride on Comet here at Waldemere. One of those smaller wooden coasters with buzz bars and no seatbelt. So my first 407 coaster credits, only one was an SPF spinner. And that's the one at the island in Pigeon Forge. And so now coaster 408 is another SPF spinner. I know there are like about a hundred of these around in the world, but I had only done one of them. Now, now I've done two. So that's pretty cool. Out of over 400 credits, they weren't stacked with like 20 SPF spinners, only one. But I have a feeling I'll be picking up a lot more as time goes on. I do like the feel of this park. It is strictly an amusement park for sure, but I just like the feel of it. You know, the Cedar Fair, Six Flags parks, you know, they're good for what they are, but there's just something special about these independent parks. And Steel Dragon, I also rode it. That was, this is a Mauer spinner. This is the third of these Mauer spinners that I've done. And the Mauers are so much better than the Gerslauer spinners. I rode it twice. I rode it once uh, facing backwards on the lift hill and once facing forward on the lift hill. And I would say you want to face, for the view, you would want to face forward on the lift hill because you get a view of Lake Erie. Lake Erie is off that way. You face forward, you can actually see it. If you're facing backward, you got to kind of turn your head to see it. Because we've got a drop tower here. I ought to check that out too. Still got to get Ravine Flyer. Just make sure, you never know, they may close early because there's like hardly anybody here. And they got plenty of those around everywhere for you. If you sit facing that direction, you're gonna get a great view of Lake Erie. And then you plummet with incredible airtime. And don't hold on. If you do that drop tower, don't hold on. Arms out, legs out, just Feel the airtime. You're just floating in your seat for a long time. Yes, I have been excited for this one ever since I heard of this one. Like, I'm almost as excited for this as I am for Voyage. I love coasters that have great views on them, and I can tell already from the top of the drop tower, this is going to have an amazing view from the top of the lift hill. So Ravine Flyer 2, I rode in the back and then in the front, did not disappoint. It's about exactly what I expected. Some really good airtime on it. And different airtime at different points, whether you're riding the front or the back. Of course, that's true with most of these coasters. But that view from the lift hill is incredible. And you get another view partway through where you kind of rise up. You lose a lot of speed as you crest a hill, but that gives you time to take in the view of the lake again. It is cool how it crosses the street and then comes back. So you can definitely tell it's got the CCI vibes. Of course, Gravity Group was formed by the CCI engineers. If you like wooden coasters, you're a coaster enthusiast, you've got to come out here to ride Ravine Flyer 2. And I see Ravine Flyer 3, the kitty coaster, right over here. All right, got to get that. I can see it running, so go finish off the coaster credits here. All right, I think I got a new favorite kitty coaster, just because of how it goes out over the water. That is really cool, Ravine Flyer 3. In 50 minutes, I've gotten eight rides on roller coasters already, plus the drop tower. 
that's the thing. You go to Cedar Point, even if you don't have any weights, like I had the fast lane yesterday, no weights, it's still, there's no way you're getting eight rides in in under an hour, or nine rides, including the drop tower. No chance. You're lucky to get five. And that's still good. That's still really good, but that just says, says something about getting nine rides here. Oh, Mega Vortex is closed. There's a comet over there. Marine flyer straight in front of us. Of the 80s music they're playing here at Ravine Flyer 2. Kind of like at a rampage at Alabama Adventures. So six rides in and I'm not looking to stop anytime soon. This thing is awesome. The views you get, airtime, it uses the terrain. See, this is the top of a hill right here. It kind of drops down the hill. You start losing some momentum towards the end. And the last couple airtime hills may not do much, but it's just fun. I mean, El Toro is the same way. It loses a lot of steam at the end, and it's one of the best coasters on Earth. Ravine Flyer 2 has a lot going for it. And they got a spider here, not operating today, that's okay. They got this haunted house thing. These things are always pretty cool. Nice change of pace from Marathoning Ravine Flyer 2. Takes me back to my days at Bell's. Bell's had one of these, very similar to this one. I haven't ridden one of these since then. So that's had to have been over 15 years. So Waldemere does have a water park also. I have not utilized the water park today. I got here at four and they close at eight. So, and the water park actually closes at seven. It's closing in about 30 minutes. I knew I wasn't gonna wanna take the time to do the water park. It would have been an extra $11, which isn't that big a deal, but still, I didn't really have the time for it. So I only did the dry park wristband. You can pay per ride here. So I think you would end up, I don't know what it is, four and a half, nine, 18, 21, 24. Yeah, you're still paying about 25 bucks or so to get the coaster credits, I think. And so you might as well just do the unlimited. It's $40, or no, not, I'm thinking of uh, Knobles. Here it's $34, at least today it was. Don't know what it'll be in future years. That could be discounted this year, just like Knobles is, but the uh, water park opens an hour before the dry park and so there's two parking lots the one parking lot over there will get you into the water park area and they i i guess they can seal off the entrance to the dry park and then the dry park stays open an hour later than the water park so if you are parked over there you can still get to it and they can seal off the water park a smart way to do it although I don't know why they just don't have both with the same hours but then again the water park you would want to open it earlier and close it sooner because you want it to be warm we're up here in northern Pennsylvania it gets it's not as hot here it doesn't get as hot here as in other places especially where I live I mean my goodness where where I'm living I mean 95 degrees that's that's just normal around here today he didn't even get 80. All right ride number nine was a rain ride in the back. Oh my goodness that was perfect. It rained for maybe five minutes and I got my ride during the rain. Rain ride on Ravine Flyer 2. I mean this ride is awesome no matter what but rain just made it that much better. I would say this this ride 
combines the best of CCI and the best of Gravity Group all in one coaster. I especially love this section when you're kind of twisting around the trees and the hillside here. You think you're almost out of steam and then you kind of drop down the hillside again. I'm starting to think this could make my top 25. And we got La Rotten North 2. Last ride of the night on Ravine Flyer 2. 15 rides in just over three, uh, three and a half hours I was here. Got 15 rides on Ravine, uh, Ravine Flyer 2. Plus I got on everything else too, all the other coasters. And in fact, multiple times except for the SBF Spinner. So I can't beat that. I did the uh, did this uh, dark ride over here, did the sky ride, did the drop tower three times. For three and a half hours, yeah, you can't beat an experience like that. They did close early, 7.30 instead of 8, and I'm totally fine with that. The park's dead right now. No reason to still be open. There is a ride running, but they might have got in just in time. But I cannot say enough good things about this park. I was only here three and a half hours and had the best time. And to think with my limited time here, I thought I would just do a paper ride. Glad I didn't. I would have only gotten about, I would have paid about $9 less and gotten only three rides on a ravine flyer, two. Instead, I got 15 rides. Plus got to do a bunch of other things. I can definitely see coming back here again. This was worth the stop. If I were here for a whole day, I would have done the water park. Well, if it was a cooler day. I mean, a warmer day. So there's the water park parking lot. This might be why they closed early. Because the rain was coming in. And we're going downhill. So, yeah, it's a bit of a terrain park. And there's Ravine Flyer 2.